Yo, what's up everyone? Today we're unboxing a new Yeezy. It's the Yeezy 350 Mono Ice. We're gonna break this one down. I'm gonna tell you guys if you should sell or hold the shoe as well. Fire shoe. Let's go. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, we're unboxing, well, I already unboxed it, but the Yeezy 350 Mono Ice. This is a fire shoe. Honestly, in hand, I was so surprised at like the different like material on the upper like it's just different from a normal 350 v2 the mono pack is definitely fire so we're gonna break this one down go through materials if you guys haven't seen an unboxing basically we break down everything from the upper to the outsole to the release details everything like that and towards the end of the video i'm gonna break down a resale guide on them let you guys know if you guys are trying to get a pair the best time you should buy in as well as you guys should sell or hold this pair it's looking like a pretty nice easy honestly for the future so break that down later in the video but Let's get into these today. So for the Yeezy 350 Mono, um, these actually came out in a pack. So this Yeezy 350 is part of the Mono pack. It's just a new 350 that they made. Just has some different materials. You'll see that in a second, but there are actually four Mono ones that came out. This one, the Mono Ice was the US exclusive one. I was super hyped for this one. I actually really wanted this pair out of all of them. So I'm glad the US got this one. Stock was pretty healthy. And I mean, as far as release day go, it was again, a pretty tough day, honestly. Yeezys, super kind of weird, honestly. It's just been kind of tough with their sites, with everything like that. But there were a lot of sites, luckily this time. We had the hella early finish line and JD Sports drop, which I think a lot of people hit manual. Manual was pretty easy. I was able to get on um, there and hit there. And then we also had Yeezy Supply loaded up. They had a lot of stock. Um, that's where this specific pair came from was Yeezy Supply, hit on Yeezy Supply. And you guys know Yeezy Supply is super tough sometimes, but um, if you guys know, just open up hella different tabs, all that kind of stuff, and hopefully you can get in. It's just honestly luck and based on um, just kind of how their site's working, honestly. But Yeezy Supply was good. We also had Adidas um, confirmed, dropped the pair as well. Either way, I'm excited for this pair. I know a lot of people that got a lot of success on it, specifically um, in like bigger sizes. I know base sizes absolutely flew, but this is a good shoe. Either way, let's unbox it. So nothing super different with the Yeezy box, just the typical brown 350 box, with 350 writing there, and then you got the boost right there. I just like the Yeezy boxes. I think they're pretty iconic, and this one definitely is the same. But you kind of take um, the shoe out here, we got that brown Yeezy wrapping there. And then this shoe, baby. See, these are nuts. And the pull tab on the back, fire. So the upper looks super icy, pretty blue also. And it's a lot different than a lot of like the pictures that we've seen before. So that upper is different from the past Yeezys because this is composed actually of a semi-translucent sheath upper. So it's a little bit different. Um, and as you can see, it is definitely semi-translucent. I thought it was gonna be a little less see-through, um, but I do like it either way. And also pictures before, you guys really, I don't know if you can tell how like icy blue this is, but that upper is so blue. I was very surprised. I thought it was gonna be a little um, less, like more subtle, I guess, than that. But these ones are super blue. I definitely still like it though. And I mean that upper, it does kind of feel weird. I think it's that sheath upper, like as you might be able to, yeah, kind of weird. Um, I did put them on though, on foot. They're pretty comfy. Um, the upper like provides a little more like breathability as far as um, it being like more of a semi-translucent like sheath upper. So it is pretty nice still. And it, I just like that it's different than the rest kind of of like other Yeezys. They just did a different pack here and they didn't do super crazy. They just made a couple different colorways, made it exclusive, but I really do like the upper on them. Midsole, you have the typical two-toned um, midsole there that meshes very well with the upper on the shoe. Another one that can be kind of hard to tell unless you're in hand, but that midsole does have that two-toned, it's kind of like a darker one, more along the edge of the upper going into the midsole, and then it turns into that like nice clean white midsole, pretty fire. Again, that's a typical um, Yeezy like midsole, so nothing really changed there. And that outsole combines with the midsole to accent the rest of the shoe. And another typical Yeezy outsole. And I mean, if you guys haven't had a Yeezy before, these break in so nice, super comfortable. Definitely one of the most comfortable shoes if they fit your foot right. Um, size wise, for me personally, I found that these ones actually fit a lot bigger than normal Yeezy 350s. 
This one is an 11 in my 350 linens and cloud whites over there. I actually wear an 11 and a half for a little more room. Um, but these 11s actually fit pretty big. I could even possibly have a 10 and a half in them. So they were big, but either way, I think they're super fire. I kind of wanted a different lace on them. Maybe if they threw in another lace, kind of like something to match the uh, back heel pull tab right there. So I like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it and prices are showing they're doing pretty good right now too. But again, some of my favorite details on the shoe, of course, if you guys have heard me talk about any Yeezys before, that pull tab in the back is definitely one of my favorite parts of any Yeezy. I think every 350 should have it as well as the actual like cage look on the um, like upper right here along that sheath is super nice. It definitely looks better in hand and it is pretty see-through like I said and you also have kind of more subtle along there but still a great detail is that patent side stripe that Yeezy's always have. You guys can see that that is super fire. Either way, I definitely like this shoe. All right, quick um resale guide with these bad boys. I just want to say everyone that's like a bulk buyer or people that have stores, I've seen so many people trying to buy up literally every pair of these. I mean, primarily they're focusing on base sizes and those big sizes above like 11 and a half, but either way, they are trying to buy this shoe. And that gives a big indication of like the future of the shoe. If when a shoe comes out and like you see bulk buyers, tons of people that are wanting to buy literally every pair usually means it's going to do good as a hold and it's going to be pretty similar to a lot of Yeezys. Yeezys are a hold. They come out the gate high retail. They usually don't go for a ton unless it's like a terrible release or it's like a super new shoe, super like fire, like a 450 Yeezy, something like that. So this one, my recommendation, honestly, because it's the mono pack and it is a little different, they got the heel tab. It's just a new Yeezy 350 design. It's honestly a very good hold, which is weird because I hate, hate holding Yeezys. They tend to sometimes not go up. And if they do, they finally do after like a year or even more. But I think this one could be a pretty good one. I would definitely look at the sizes you have, though. Base sizes should definitely moon go pretty high. I mean, I think it should be pretty much like that cloud white pair. The cloud white pair went pretty nuts. And even the linen pair. I think just like shoes that are a little different. We saw that linen pair had the reflective stripe and that like skyrocketed after a while. This one being a little different with that sheath upper. I think it's the best one of the pack. So I think this one should go up as well. Again, though, look at your own discretion because Yeezys are definitely a hold. It could take a little bit, but either way, I don't think holding or selling them is a super bad move right now. I think people are starting to get pairs in and the prices are going to hit basically bottom right now so definitely wait till around the end of summer if you want to sell if not definitely hold until next summer all right that's gonna do it for today's video let me know down below if you guys like the mono ice easy 350 again i was super hyped with this pair glad i hit on them and i mean i don't think you can go wrong with the easy 350s most of the time they make some fire colorways and this is one of those again thanks for checking out the channel today the video and we'll see you guys next time